for us to go 14 and 6 in this league, just don't forget about at Indiana. Don't forget about this, guys. At Illinois, biggest game in 15 years. At Michigan State, arguably preseason number one. Don't forget about that. And then the win at Minnesota. Hey, we won those games. That's why we cut down some nets today. And uh, we might have lost those games and we'd be sitting in here, well, wow, third place is not bad. First place is a hell of a lot better. Thanks, Coach. No players next. Everybody ready? Um, yeah, you guys are close. Uh, you know, really happy for my team. Uh, we, 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 we played well today. I thought Michigan really played well. They made a lot of shots. They were, they were really good today, and they, they made us work because we played at a high level. And the game maybe could have got away from them, but they, but they were terrific. Um, you know, we made shots today, which is big. Uh, our defense in the first half was terrific. Our defense the last six minutes was terrific. And, uh, you know, just quickly, obviously we're 16-1 and one at home. You don't do that without great fan support. Uh, our fans were great all year. The building was electric today. Um, our guys were feeding off them. You know, I just want to thank everybody involved. Um, you know, the guys that walked me out on the floor, all the people that come early. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. I see these guys for game day. If we play at 7, they're here at 2 o'clock. And just a lot of people make this work. So I just want to thank everybody involved uh, there. And um, But uh, just proud of our team. Um, you know, I said out there, it's, it, just because people say you're going to be good doesn't mean you're going to be good. you got to go out and earn it. And our family went through ups and downs like anybody else does. And we continue to fight. Um, when you're ranked high, you get everybody's best shot. Sometimes that's not physically exhausting as much as it is mentally exhausting. Uh, we had an unbelievably tough stretch there. Everybody was wondering what was wrong with us. It was really the stretch that we were going through. The Michigan State probably could have beat anybody that night, the way they played. Um, but I knew if I got our guys back, we don't panic. We took two days off. Friday was our, one of our best practices of the year. Yesterday was OK, but you could tell practice made us better. And uh, I truly proud. And the last thing I'll say, I meant to say it up there. We've been in the Sweet 16 14 times. Today's our eighth league championship. So you can argue that it's easier to get to a Sweet 16. I don't put pressure on me to get there. All right? I've had enough of it all year. But it's hard to win the league. We won one in 1931 and one in 1932. So arguably the best Big Ten ever, the deepest Big Ten ever, um, for our guys to do what they did, it is, they're special. They're, they're special. They're tough. And they all stepped up today. You know, Anthony came back to hang a banner. He gets to hang a banner. So uh, just an all-around great day for the program. Questions? The Jack Lynch Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Between you and Anthony, you guys kind of have a shared, unique understanding of the gravity of, of the pressure that goes into a day like this and then what, what it means for you um, when it happens. Yeah, um, I just wanted it to happen because we were so close. Um, but we've been close for like three weeks. That puts a lot of weight on you, okay? And I can't explain it. it it's just a lot of weight, you know, and I just kept asking God to take it from us. And, um, but it showed, okay? We weren't smiling, we weren't having fun. We were exhausted the last game we played, and they played great, but um, it's a lot of work. And there was really no easy games. And sometimes you'll play a season, and let's say we had 20 league games, where four or five teams will just lay an egg against you. That never happened. Everybody played well against us this year. We had guys that can't make shots making shots against us. That weighs on you mentally. So, yeah. You know, I got on Anthony pretty good in practice yesterday because he wasn't smiling, he hung his head a couple times. I'm like, okay, buddy, we feed off you, change your attitude. And he did. And, uh, but he was feeling it, a lot of weight on his shoulders. And he just don't hang a, you don't hang, you don't hang a league championship, you know, very often. So there was a lot on our guys, and they're obviously big weight off of us.
and now we're hopefully we can relax. And, but we played the way we're capable of playing today. We look like Maryland, a team that was 23 and five, ranked ninth in the country. We look like that team today. Wow. Kind of going off of that, while you were up there um, before they did the trophy, you were saying that it felt like you know a gorilla was yeah. off your back. Just what was the emotion like for you? Just you know being able to um, you know capture that championship and then you know cutting down the nets and just you know being able to relish in that. Well. You know, I've been here nine years, and take over, and you go through things, and we had to rebuild again, and then change leagues. You know, so you go through that, and we've been close. We've been second a couple times, but we've never really had a chance to win it. And, um, you know, we lost Wisconsin by two games that year. They went to the national championship game. But um, it's a big weight because, you know, I'm really not into, I'm not into a lot of things, but hang a banner, that's pretty cool, okay? And we've only done it seven times before in 101, 100 years, so we've done it eight times now. That's pretty cool, it's pretty unique, so hopefully it takes pressure off as we move forward. And um, I just wanted to get it, and we had it hanging over us for two weeks, you know, we were in first place for almost four weeks, and just, it was hanging over us. And, uh, but I knew our schedule last was gonna be really hard. You know, and, and that could have been a championship team there if Livers would have played all season. Think about that. They lost five games without him in league play, right? We beat them by four in the league. That could have been a championship team. So we beat their best team. That's kind of year it had it was for us. So, yeah, it's a weight off. I'm really proud um, of the guys. And just, just really happy because they really dedicated themselves starting when the season ended last year to doing what we did. And um, guys relaxed and played today. Very in the middle. Mark, it's rare that a player of such prominence like Callen stays for four years, starts for four years. Um, how would you describe the evolution of your relationship with him, and, and what was that hug like on the sideline? Well, he should have stayed, and he did the right thing. And um, because there's no guarantee for him after college, um, I think he'll make. You know, we'll see. You know, little guy's coming back a little bit in the NBA. But, um, our relationship's really grown because towards the end of his sophomore year, he didn't like me and I didn't like him. And um, he just wasn't being the point guard I wanted him to be. And we had to sit down and we talked about it. I loved him, but I wanted more out of him. And uh, then we brought in Matt Brady, I thought really helped him. And then DeAndre Haynes came in. I think just all three point guards just constantly. And then he just changed his approach to the game. And he made the game easy. And, um, since he changed his approach, it was great. So, yeah, that hug was pretty cool. That hug was really good. You know, when you're sitting there, you want to win the league, you're sitting there, and I'm on the elliptical, and I'm like, oh, I hope I can take Anthony out and give him an ovation. You know, and then you start to tear up a little bit while you're working out. You know, like, God, he deserves it. I hope it works out. So for it to work out the way it did, it's uh, really cool. Pat, do you want to Mark, um, supposed to speak about getting back to the basics on defense yeah, after did. a rough stretch. So, what, how would you assess how they played on defense today? Obviously, some big stop and big yeah. moments. And would you attribute it more to having fresher legs or what was done in practice? Well, both. I think we were fresh physically. I think we were fresh mentally. Still weighing on us, but we were a lot fresher mentally today than we've been in a long time. And. Um, so it's two those things, and then we got after it in practice. So I was going through, my son had surgery uh, Thursday, and I'm sitting there watching film, and I'm going through my practice plan, and I'm like, we've had seven practices since like February 10th. We had two good ones this week. So um, now we got time to practice. I play till Friday, we'll have time to practice for the next tournament. So hopefully we can get a lot better between now and then with practice, but both those things. You know, we we're physically fresh, and we were mentally fresh and then we practiced. We, we got after We did some defensive drills that really made us play hard. And it showed today. We were great. We were great defensively uh, for 20 minutes, and then we weren't any good for about 12. But give them credit. They were terrific. I mean, Simpson's a phenomenal player. Then the last eight minutes, we were just phenomenal. They just kept making plays. They kept making shots. But we were really, really good defensively again. So that gives me hope moving forward. And it's your right. The job Eric Allen did, especially yeah. in the second half. I mean, how big was that? And just stymieing Michigan a little bit? Yeah. Secure. Well, that's the Eric of last year, right? And Eric's, when we played well at home, he's made some big shots. And uh, he was so good in practice on Friday. It was like, whoa. And I looked over at Coach Brady and I'm like, where's this cat been, right? And he was doing behind the back passes, he was hitting threes. 
he was bouncy, and I'm like, okay. And then so to see him do that, one time I was so frustrated with our possession, I look over, I kind of put my, like, golly, we're just out here dribbling. And he hits an incredible three. And, uh, and then to see Wiggs do it too. I mean, you know, those two haven't shot the ball the way they want to shoot it, but maybe today's the start of them doing what they need to do. And if that, if that happens, you know, March can be a lot of fun for us. But happy for Eric. Thought he passed the ball well too. Um, got to the rim, got fouled. A little bit nervous on his free throw. Maybe the biggest offensive rebound in the game. Missed the two free throws. That's when I knew we were going to win. Eric, you know, gets that, gets that offensive rebound against two big guys, throws it out to Wiggs, and he makes the three. And I was like, all right, it's our day. We're going to win. Coach, uh, there's a lot of moments in the game, but one moment I noticed it was 62 to 55, and I don't think you were happy with the set they were running, and, you were, and all of a sudden the kid made a three. Eric made a three. That's the one. Yeah, and then you kind of. Up and yeah. Don't, don't know him. Well, what happened was we had a two-man game, and Eric had sticks for a layup. And we're, we're, we're becoming a better passing team, but we diagrammed a play, and I thought he had a layup and didn't throw. So I was frustrated. I like layups, <laughs> um, especially with Jalen. He'll probably dunk it. And then we made a big three in that possession to go up 10. So um, that was huge. We made a lot of big shots today, yeah. and uh, we're going to have to uh, moving forward. Last one of these games. Mark, I reluctantly asked this question, but is there any remorse or regret when you look back on some of these games and know you could have outright hit this one moment? Yeah, no. Um, because if the league was terrible, I would say that the league was terrific. And I don't know what their schedules were like compared to us, the top teams. I haven't even looked at it, but I imagine ours was one of the toughest. Okay? Um, would we have liked to have won it outright? Absolutely. but. We're still champs, right? And you look at the, I think, the two best leagues in the country, Big East and the Big Ten. I think they're the deepest and the toughest. And if, uh, if, Mich if Michigan State wins today, we'll have, you know, they had, Big East had three champions, we'll have three champions. It's the depth of the league. For us to go 14-6 and six in this league, just don't forget about at Indiana. Don't forget about this, guys. At Illinois, biggest game in 15 years. At Michigan State, arguably preseason number one. Don't forget about that. And then the win at Minnesota. Hey, we won those games. That's why we cut down some nets today. And uh, we might have lost those games and we'd be sitting in here, well, third place is not bad. First place is a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. One place next.